Now we will see how to name coordinates for a given point and we'll do this by looking at a series of examples and this is example one. Take a look at this point right here, the point that's marked on our xy plane. You can see that if you start at the origin to get to this point we have to move three to the right and that puts us there and then we move two up and notice that that three to the right was three in the x direction so we can think that x equals three and then the two up was two in the y direction so you can think of y equals two so remember those numbers another way to think of it is this if we look at this point this point lines up with the value 3 on the x-axis. If we were to mark these off and have numbers there, that would be at x equals 3, this point. And if we were to mark off numbers on our y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, we can see that this point corresponds to a position on the y-axis of, of 2. So again, we have x equals 3, y equals 2. And here's how we write that. We put parentheses 3, comma, 2 and the numbers written like this are called an ordered pair. Because it's understood that the order there is known to be x first and y second. So you could write this x equals 3 y equals 2. This is just a more compact notation, a more compact way to write the same thing. So this point is the point 3 2. And when we say it like that, 3, 2, it's, understand, it's understood that the order there is x first and then y. So 3, 2 means x equals 3, y equals 2. All right, here's example 2. And look at this point down here. If we look at our x-axis, and you don't have to write these numbers on here. A lot of times they're written on there for you. Um, but you can just count. You can see that this point is 4 to the left of the origin and it's one up. So if we started here at the origin and we moved along this axis one, two, three, four, that's how far left this point is and it's one up. Remember we said that this is our x-axis, this horizontal line, and we also said that this was the positive x direction and to the left is the negative x direction. So our x coordinate here is negative 4 because it's to the left. And the y coordinate is positive 1. Positive y is up and negative y is down. And we're up above the origin. So the y coordinate is positive. So if we want to write the, the coordinates for this point, we would say negative 4, comma, 1. And sometimes we say that is the point, negative 4, comma, 1. We refer to the point by its coordinates. And here's example 3 and we see the point down here and we can see that this is 3 to the left so that's x is negative 3 and it's 4 down so y is negative 4. So this is the point negative 3, negative 4. And in example 4, we have this point right here, and it is 5 in the positive x direction to the right. From the origin, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2 in the negative y direction. So this, this point has an x coordinate of 5 and a y coordinate of negative 2. So we say the point is the point 5, negative 2. And in example 5, we have this point here. And note that this point is right along the y-axis. So the x-coordinate, it isn't 1 and it isn't negative 1. It's lined up right there with x equals 0. In other words, from the origin right here, we don't move left or right at all to get to this point. We only move up. And we go up 1, 2, 3. So we go 0 horizontally. 0 left and right, so the x coordinate is 0. And we go up 3 to get to this point, so the y coordinate is 3. So we would say this is the point 0, 3. Having a 0 for a coordinate is not a problem at all. It simply means that it's on the axis. If the x coordinate is 0, then the point is right along the y axis because we haven't moved 
left or right any. And if the y coordinate were, were 0, it would be right along the x axis. And again, this is an important term. All of these x and y values are called coordinates. And that's why this whole system with the x and y number lines at right angles is sometimes called a coordinate plane. And then here's example 6. We have five points, E, F, G, H, and I, and they're all marked there in the coordinate plane, and we're told to write the coordinates for each point, and we'll write these as ordered pairs. So we'll start with E, and we'll just count start at zero, start right here at the origin, and count in the x direction first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go eight to the right to get as far to the right as point E, and then we can count one, two, three up, to get as far up as point E. So point E has an X coordinate of 8 and a Y coordinate of 3. So we'll write 8 comma 3 for point E. Point F here has an X coordinate of negative 1 and a Y coordinate if we count up here this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So point F has coordinates negative 1 comma 6. X is negative 1, Y is 6. Point G is way down here. That's 1 to the left, that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually I think I miscounted that. Let's start here at 0 and go to the left. 1, 2, 3, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 to the left gets me lined up with G, and vertically we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 down. So that's 9 in the negative x direction and 9 in the negative y direction. So that's the point negative 9 comma negative 9. Now point H here, this one's pretty easy, it's 2 to the right of the origin, so my x value is 2, and coming down here, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the negative y direction. So the y coordinate is negative 5. And then point, uh, point i. Point i is right here. And from the origin, we can move 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 to the left, so the x coordinate is negative 4, and that point is right on the x axis. We don't go up or down any at all, so the y coordinate is 0. So that's point negative 4, 0.